We are here because we're going to give you a brand new first ever look at the Arctic Wolf by Forest River in Cherokee 3880 Suite. Now, it's so sweet, the suite is, that I didn't want to start checking out the sweet suite until we went inside later. So I thought, Ben, let's do outside first. Well, I appreciate cool? you having me, and let's do the outside. There's a lot to look at. Out yeah, here, absolutely. Right? So first off, and also, let me preface this by saying, if you want this specific unit, you want to get it, you want to get it now. Absolutely now. You want to text Easy RV, four letters, Easy, Easy RV to 32094. Or just drop us a comment, Easy RV, or give us a call, 866 853 3510. Easy RV, have you heard about this one, Ben? I, I've heard about it. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, absolutely. We got specialists standing by who are going to walk you through a unit very close to you. Now, it might not be this specific one, but it'll be one like this. If you like this floor plan, we got one ready for you. They're going to answer all your questions. Then they're going to let you talk to a financial specialist. They're going to mail paperwork out to you with envelopes included and postage already paid. I'm not going to cheap out on you like I did at the bar. Then our specialist is going to bring that unit to you, help you set it up, give you the same walkthrough that you would have if you came into camping world. Then all you got to do is enjoy camping. So if you want this one, go ahead and drop the comment now because trust me, once you see that sweet suite, you're going to love it. Outside, fiberglass. I love the color scheme that Cherokee and Forest River did with the Arctic Wolves. Thanks, man. Uh, we we really wanted to, to make a coach that not only looked great, mm -hmm. but was going to be functional for how you're going to use it, sure. and it's going to be able to say, I can have confidence that when I'm investing my money, that it's going to hold up for the long term, right? right. So we right. wanted to have a good looking coach, but you're going to have um, two inch thick walls on the outside. That's mm -hmm. one of the big things we hit, right? A lot of these brands, especially when you're talking about something, you know, uh, in today's market where they're trying to find ways to say, maybe we do this here, or maybe oh, sure. a little bit sure, here, sure. right? We're going to be able to give you a full featured coach at an aggressive price point that's mm -hmm. going to be full uh, option in everything here, like the uh, the two door entry on the outside entry I for like the pass through layout, storage, man. right? Yeah, plus we got the magnetic anti slams right here. Right. But the double pass through storage, because how many times you've been out with the wife or the kids and it's hurry up, all right, give me that, hurry up, give me that, get now, you can load your own stuff and take a look at the space that we have in there. Right. Finished off. There's so much storage inside a coach but we wanted to make sure we didn't skimp on the outside as well, right? right? So a lot of times you're going to have sections of this closed off. We opened up everything, mm -hmm. right? So that you can say, I can take as much with me if I want to go full-time living, if I want to go weekend warrior camping, right? You right. can do whatever you want with something like this. We did upgrade, like you said, to the slam latch baggage doors that are the thicker, heavier duty doors. Mm -hmm. um, for insulation down here, you've got TV hookup outside, along with the speakers outside for your radio or for your television as well. I saw that. Um, you're going to have the leash latch because any more pets are family, right? Yep. So I want to be able to take my, my pets with me. So uh, hook up here so you don't have to find a place to, to, to leash your pet. This is another great feature. I think Forest River, you guys have done a really good job with. I, I know we put them here. We put them in the rear as well. Right. You got really good spots. So because with those campsites, those animals might get run in a little bit crazy. Absolutely. The other thing I give you guys a tip of the half for is the manufacturing process. You guys like to reduce and reuse and kind of shrink that carbon footprint, right. which is really what allows you to make the coaches at a more affordable price, right? Well, the more efficient we can be in our manufacturing process. Sure. We have, you know, only certain bedroom sets. We have only certain kitchen sets. So we right. can be more exacting, not only from what we use, so we're not wasting, right. which is like you said, going to be a more green manufacturing process. It also keeps the waste from adding up the cost, right? right? So we take the volume buying that Cherokee already uses, that Forest River all uses, and combines that with that type of manufacturing process. Right and on. you can get a coach that offers all this um, at an aggressive price point. Beautiful. And it's an aggressively good looking coach. I appreciate that. that. Now this awning. Yeah. I see we got the LED lights on the arms uh -huh. and they're angled in. I like that. Adjustable pitch. Yep. And it runs, what's the size of this one? So you're going to have a 20 foot awning on this. Okay. okay. So when you're outside camping, you want to be able to have some covering. We're going to offer a full length awning, not the 10 or 12 foot awning like a lot of brands are going to offer. Sure. It does have lights and they can be dimmed. Sometimes okay. the LED lights you get on a coach, yeah. that's just what it is. Right. And maybe I'm wanting to be outside. I just want a little bit of light. I don't want it blaring me out. Mm -hmm. Right. So you there's a dimmer switch on inside. You can dim that out nice. um, and use the space the way you would like to. Now the underbelly you had talked about a little bit before you guys uh -huh. have a fully enclosed 
uh, underbelly here that's also heated. Yeah, so you're gonna have a full heated and closed underbelly. If you wanna do extended camping, um, that's why we offer the thicker walls, that's why you're gonna have the insulation, thicker roof and floor, that's why we're gonna heat and close the underbelly so that you can say if it's late in the fall or early in the spring and you wanna get out, you're not limited by when you wanna go, right? You've only got so much time to camp, and we right. wanna make it as long as possible. And you'd mentioned too, it's, it's partitioned under there. Yeah. So you have sections so that if something does happen, you don't have to take off the entire underbelly to get to it. Correct, so we do have Love a fully that. sealed underbelly, so it's fully enclosed and there's no holes in the frame. So right. the way we say it is it keeps the heat in and rodents out, right? Mm -hmm. So that's one of the goals of the, the camping experience. But we also say, if you wanna get in there and change something out or access it, you don't have to roll back the whole underbelly, right? You right. can get where you need to go and then reattach it without having to take off the whole underbelly. I see we got the 15 inch aluminum wheels right there on the Dexter Easy Lubes. And right. is that a pressure monitor inside? Yeah, so on the, on the Cherokee article, if you're going to have tire pressure we'll monitors right on all the stems so that the, the biggest cause of blowouts in a camper is improperly inflated tires, right. right? So if we can give you some way to be able to check that when you're stopping for gas, when you're getting ready to leave, mm -hmm. so that you can feel confident in, in the way your tires are inflated, then that's gonna give you a better camping experience. I like the extra wide berth between the axles too. That kind of helps with that suspension because right. even though a fifth wheel it is a little bit easier to tow than a travel trailer because the weight is actually it's distributed more into the bed uh, the the bed of the truck right. as it opposed to being pulled right behind right um still having that it's a mush man it's no it's absolutely mush. great like the yeah. stability of these so in addition to the stability of the overall coach, we have one touch push button auto leveling that we call tri-control because you can control it outside, you can control it inside, or you can control it on the phone app. Oh, okay? right on, okay. So that way when you're setting up, we want it to be easy, we yeah. want it to be simple, but it's also the ground control 3.0, so it's got sure. extra strong stabilization. Yeah. Sometimes you so, walk into a coach and you feel like you're, you're on a boat because you're yeah. tipping all over, right? Yeah. This is going to be nice and strong and sturdy. Kev, this is what he's talking about right here, if you guys can kind of see. That's a great feature, being able to control it inside, outside, and through the app, leveling, is that dude talking about taking it easy, making setup easy? Right. Auto leveling is a must if you want to make it easy. Right. Just like buying the RV <laughs> if you want to make it easy is going to be with easy RV. Uh, but if you think about it, you guys have kind of every year you, you revolutionize, you change, you upgrade, you update to make the process better for the customer. Right. Which is exactly what we've done with Easy RV because let's, let's face it, man. There's, there's a lot of trepidation right now. People don't want to. I got to put on my mask. I don't want to get. I'm gonna get on my pajamas. I don't. Right. So why not give them the option of buying a floor plan from the comfort of their own home? We got specialists standing by right now who will virtually walk you through a unit and answer those questions that Ben and I probably aren't going to get a chance to cover today in this brief overview. But they have all the knowledge. They're going to make sure everything you want is taken care of. And all you got to do is text EZRV to 32094. Leave us a comment down below, EZRV, those four letters, E, Z, and then RV. We're going to make sure you get all your questions answered. We got a finance specialist you can talk to. The paperwork's going to be mailed to you with an envelope that's already postage paid. So all you got to do is send it back in the mail. Then when it's going to be delivered to your campsite or your home, somebody's going to help you set it up professional. And all you got to do is enjoy the camping. What is up with this door? So uh, a lot of times you just have boring doors, right? Yes. Just, it's a door, it's a door, it's a door. Yeah. So you talked about the outside looking uh, really nice. We, we, we invest a lot of money in our graphics package because yeah. we want, you're pulling up in a new camper. You've invested your money. You want it to pop. You want it to look right. Yeah. So we wanted to not limit that to the walls. We wanted to go the door as well. So I saw that. I, I was like, look at Ben rolling up like the Pope Mobile. <laughs> I thought, is this, this is like the, the, the bulletproof glass? Like, can I see in there? No, you do, this have, is a, you nice. do have a window, but you're not going to see in there. And it right. is friction hinge as well. So that way, even in high winds, you're not going to have, have a slam, slam on you, right? Yeah. So that coupled with our, our more ride entry steps, it's a more secure step, step it's easier to get steps. in. Now this is something that's unique to us, is mm -hmm. that on most of these stairs, when they come out, that's the only way to do it. And if you have a permanent site, you might want to have a deck or something, right? Yep. And that yep. becomes a problem. So on our units, you can actually take out the two pins here and the whole thing comes off. So that if, if you have Makes a deck, easy. there's so many things that people don't consider. Like we want to we want to not only have great features, we not only want to have great construction, how do you live? Yeah. How do you use it? How do you it? enjoy it? Are, we gonna be, are you going to be able to fight with your camper? Or are you going to be able to love your camper? Yeah. We want you to love it right see and that's the experience because if you go out and you have a bad experience you're not going to want to do it again right and that is so huge because we've got a lot of people for the first time buying campers they've Absolutely. never camped before now I love the four steps because you know with three steps that last step could always be a doozy but when we walk in here first things first I feel that AC blowing that feels good it feels great what is that a 15k BTU so every Arctic Wolf has a 15,000 BTU standard and 50 right. amp service 
on the suite series. Yeah. So this is gonna be my larger unit, right? right. We wanna step that up a notch. We have two ACs and they're both 15,000 BTU. They're nice. both ducted okay. and they're both thermostatically controlled. So let's say I wanna sleep colder and I wanna live. Yeah. Perfectly okay with us, let's do that, right? So you've got controls up there, you've got controls down here, and you're gonna be able to fully, even if, even let's say you, know, you get into a heat wave and it's gonna be 105 degrees, can I cool my camper down to a comfortable level? In this, in this coach, you can. Can you control it from the app, too? Uh, not with the AC system. You can control your lights. You can control your slides. You can control your leveling. Uh, right. But the AC system is going to be on the AC control. Okay. Because that's I, I do like that feature. Yep. But it worries me a little bit at the same time because what if I'm half an hour out, all of a sudden I get stuck, and something blows, my AC's burning. Right. I don't know it for 45 minutes. I get there, and now i got something blown out. Right. So that kind of that kind of worries me a little bit. Well, um, I just kind of made myself at home. Yeah. It's a great camera to do that in. Dude, so opposing slides. Yep. We got the super slide over here, super slide over there. And usually in the middle, we see an island kitchen. But I love that you've made a, a bar setup right here. Tell yeah. me about this. So um, one, our design team uh, does a great job. Yeah, right? they so, so they, they <laughs> yeah. make it look amazing. But this camper, we're using our super lounge, right? So mm -hmm. on the super lounge, you're going to have amazing seating because so many times on a versatile coach like this, where it could be a couple's coach, it could be a bunkhouse. Sure. What if I want to entertain? What if we have more than just me and my wife? What if yep. we're doing this? Where are we all going to sit? What are we going to do? So we offered the super lounge, but we wanted to make sure we had two levels of dining. So you've got fold away tables for that, but this is going to offer you the ability to just pull up a seat, have a drink, have a breakfast, whatever just you might relax. want to do. Relax, right? That's what the coach is designed for. I love the distressed look on this too, man. Right. Residential and clean, look at that. That's so you're, you're gonna have nice high-end cool. um, accommodations for what's gonna be the current market and, right. and the way people wanna live, right? So it's a longer bar also. A lot of times people, when they have countertop space, it's very limited, yeah. right? So you've got three levels of countertop space. You've got all of this here, plus you're going to have it here by the stove to accommodate if you're cooking, whatever. And then over there on the far end, you're gonna have the sink and extra um, counter space along the hutch area, right? Oh yeah. So a lot of times people are saying, well, that's great, Ben, you've given me slides, but how am I gonna fit this? Where am I gonna put this? So we've got right. a dedicated um, trash can storage area here. Oh, right. okay, let's see. Oh, right on. I noticed on the other side, we had uh, the O2 LP detector and a power port over Correct. there. Plus, was that USB charging as yep. well? Yeah, you're going to find USB okay. and uh, outlets throughout the coach because technology is a part of how we live right. and how we live is how we're going to camp. We're going to camp. We want right. to get away, but you still want to be able to charge your devices, right? So we're going to make that as convenient and easy as possible um, along with uh, trying to make a good layout for the coach, right? This layout, I, I, I got to tell you, you took the standard rear living layout, right? You know, and you turned it into a suite. Right. But you also turned into a sweet suite, which is what I meant outside, because you got to admit, this is pretty sweet right here, man. It's, it's, it's going well. Yeah, it's really great. Let's start right back here. Okay. Well, let's continue right back here, because we already kind of came in and started. I saw the chair, and I was like, bro, time out. I'm sitting down. The zebra shades, yep. I'm a fan of, because they just look cool. Yeah. They so, give you that kind of depth of feel a little bit, too, inside the camper. The zebra shades are going to look great like so yeah. it's not just your standard one color blind coming down but right. additionally um, you can block out the light if you'd like or you can allow as little or as much light as you want so mm -hmm. we've got this great coach one of the things that sets us apart is we're going to six and a half foot tall six foot five foot slide heights I as opposed that. to your five ten or five eleven so you, right. you get the bigger windows that's great for panoramic you sometimes sure. want to block the light out though yeah right how do i do that the zebra shades offer a really versatile option for that also notice you got wood valances right all the way around a too. lot of times people um, will have the old rv standbys we think we got to put stuff in because that's the way right. the rvs have always done we got the curtains right. on the side we got the hard balances we got things like that you don't need it that's not the way your house goes yeah. that's not the way you really want to look no. so we framed it in you know we've taken it just like your house and you're going to be able to say okay we we framed it in like your house and right. then we're going to have the nice large panoramic window still Great residential touch. You got the residential glass blown right. LED lights on the sides. I got my bookshelf ends with dual USB charging ports right. on both sides. Got me a little cubby storage down there. Got the comfy fold out sofa. Now this full size queen when it folds out. Yeah, and it's a full tri-fold sofa, so it's not the jackknife or anything right. like that. Yeah, so the so bed actually folds out. In addition out. to the sleeping, which we'll get to in a second, right. you're going to have it down here as well. Um, the storage, every Arctic Wolf is going to come with the ceiling fan. Mm -hmm. um, every Arctic Wolf is going to come with the full pantry because that's great that you've given me uh, pots and pan storage I gotta have the food to cook it in right yeah absolutely um, we've gone with the oversized 12 volt fridges so that um, the gas electric fridges have a lot of versatility for when you want to go dry camping but they're they, they take longer to cool down you know right. there's not as much space so this offers you the versatility to go dry camping if you want to hook up solar and have that integrated to where you can say right. I can charge my, my fridge but also I can run it more like residential in those advantages this is one of those 
fifth wheels that if you see and you're watching it right now and you say, Ben, Chris, how do I get this? Very easy. Just drop us a comment, Easy RV, or text Easy RV to 32094. Give us a call, 866 853 3510. This one is going to go quick. Plus, it's a first look, it's brand spanking new. So if you're like, no, nope, I want that one, I don't want it, get on it now. You're not going to be one of those, well, honey, I think we need to go take a look at it next week. There's not going to be a next week, okay? Get it now. And if you say, I love that floor plan, I love that style, right. we have one standing by. Just get on the easy RV train and get your RV to your home quickly. You had mentioned the entertainment center, and the first thing I saw, the fireplace. Chris, it's great because it love those a lot LEDs, of ambience, right? Man. Yeah. So you've got great ambience. It's also functionally an electric heater. So if you want to take the chill off and you don't want to burn your propane, go ahead. Yes. Plus, we've a lot of times this is just dead space. So it's great that you gave me a television, but what am I going to put behind right. there? If I've got a Removable Apple TV, mouth. if I've got a DVD player, if I've got a video game system, I want to hook it up. Where am I going to set that? Right. right. So we're going to give you functional storage behind the TV, above the TV, and then the fireplace below. And you got the shaker style cabinets with the frosted glass inlay that's tinted. Love that look privacy a little bit. So I've had some stuff I didn't want everybody to access or see. Put right. that up there. Got the component shelf here. Got the AM FM control unit with HDMI. Is that also Bluetooth on there? Uh, you're going to be, I know it's dual you're zone. be Bluetooth audio. Nice. Yep. Right on. Okay. I like the pantry too. <laughs> Look, Did you, know, you, you knew I was coming in. Chris don't know what that is. It's a pantry. Listen, Michelle does a great job when she's designing these chambers, she does. right? So even little details, like instead of just a dead door, let's make it decorative, right? Like yes. we talked about the glass inserts on the other cabinets. Mm -hmm. Let's set the pantry apart. Let's make it look sharp. Yeah. I, I want it to be well built. I want it to be well functioned. I want you to walk in and love it. I want you to want to show it off yeah. to your friends, to your family. When you're pulling up in that campground, it looks all good. When you walk inside, it's got to look great too. It does. And this, this does look great. I, of course, I've always been a big fan of you guys anyway. It's just been one of those, you know, 26 dbh what I started with and, right. you know, moving up to these are just great. Solid wood construction on the full extension ball bearing drives here. Now, I know this is the matte black right. uh, graphite is, is what I usually call it, right. the graphite style fixtures. Love the light on the dark contrast here. Prep space. I got a backsplash that doubles as a cutting board. Absolutely. Once again, you're thinking about functionality, making it easy. Right. You had mentioned this fridge, 12 volt. A sweet little touch. Yeah, the 12 volt fridge gives you the storage capacity of the residential, the mm -hmm. quick cooling like a residential, and it maintains temperature even in hot weather. Right. But you have the versatility if I want to go dry camping, right? If I want to, if I want to take it to a race, if I want to go out in the boonies, right? Right. You can get there with a 12 volt fridge in ways you couldn't with a residential. Right. Yeah, because I'm not running. I'm also not running all my LP out just to right. cool stuff. Right. Right. Yeah. Which long term that's going to save you money. Yeah. Extra counter space over there has been huge for us. This was a touch that I said, okay, I see what you're doing. I like it. You took the island kitchen, you gave me entertainment space, and you moved it to a bigger spot than what an island kitchen would give me. Once again, check out that beautiful graphite style matte finish. I got the sprayer nozzle here. Even got a hand sanitizing station because they're thinking about your safety. Top doubles as a cutting board if you need it, but of course I gave you one anyway. Dual USB charging power here with the frosted glass. Look at the storage that I have up there. Plus we have more storage down here. Pantry drawer for the uh, utensils. Just, I mean, storage, 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 pretty much all the way throughout. Well, and, and all of this is gonna be great. So you're gonna have great storage, you're gonna have great kitchen, you're gonna have great all this. But one of the things that really sets this floor plan apart is the versatility, and that's what the next room offers. That's yeah. where the bunks are, right? That, that's, that's why I kinda, I didn't wanna start on the inside. <laughs> you're like, why are we standing out in the rain? Right. This is the Arctic Wolf by Forest River and Cherokee 3880 Sweet. Why is it a sweet? Let's go. You want me in here you want me Can you check this bad boy out? So now you come in here and you think, oh wait a minute, what is that? Is that storage? These are full over full size beds. Not even like a double over double bunk or a single over single bunk. Full size bed over full size bed, bunks in a slide. Right, Chris, a lot of times people say, you know, I, I wanna have people with me, but my kids are, my kids are older, right? Right, my right, kids, right, My kids aren't Teenagers. seven year old anymore, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Or let's say that uh, I've got in-laws or another couple that goes with us, or, mm -hmm. or let's say um, the husband uses it as a hunting cabin yeah. in the fall, right? It's a fishing trip, it's a ladies weekend getaway. It's right. the, the, the beach trip. Da, 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 da. So there's a lot of middle bunk rooms with a loft above. We have that floor plan. Right, What's right. unique about this one is on, 
here you don't have the loft above so you get more space here so i can right. fit large beds it can fit two adults top and bottom and what's different about ours specifically is this lift mechanism right here mm -hmm. what it allows us to do is put on longer beds so many people when they have a floor plan similar to this they can only put a 64 inch long bed right which means if you're five four or over you're, you're hanging off the bed luck. yep right yep. Yep. so you can get two full-size beds because this lifts up it can come in when your slides in right and then when you put the slide out you can have it come back down and you can sleep comfortably strut supported and the storage that we have here the first thing that popped in my head was guys hunting trip ladies we can get away 100%. beach stuff there chairs hunting rifles fishing rods it's solid wood, plus I got the strut supported, so I'm not doing the shoulder. It does all the shuffle. Got the entertainment shelf here, TV mount over here on this wall. You're just gonna have to trust me on that. Power port and cable connect. Let's see if Kevin can get on in here, buddy. See that? And once again, you'll notice they have these wall mounts for the TVs that have a backer that comes with it, and the TVs can just slide right in there. So if you only have one TV, you're cheap like me, that's gonna be an easy fit. But Ben, I got to tell you, when I first saw this one, and I knew we were going to do a first look here at the Ultimate RV Show, I said, people are going to go gaga for this. Easily go gaga. All right, so let's head to the bathroom, and then we're going to head to the master bedroom. Sure, now in the bathroom, um, one of the things you're going to find is that our entry is going to be larger than most, right? Right. So a lot of times you have that sliding glass door that means after the, the wet has gotten down into the track, you've got to clean that out and get yeah. that all. This offers a larger opening, right? Yep. That is self-cleaning on the inside, but it's also durable. Check out, check this out. You ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, did right? you get that? No matter, no matter what type of way you're going to use this, you're That's going to have super concerned. convenience and yeah. super durability. Ready? Look at it. That's pretty stout. I'm telling you. So it's it gives me a bigger opening. Right. It's going to be self-cleaning, so I'm not going to have to get down there and track it, mm -hmm. but it's also going to be super durable. Porcelain toilet, uh, farm-style doors. Mm -hmm. Every one of our bathrooms is going to have that fantastic fan right in there. Love the, yes, the big fan, the powered fan. we got the barn-style doors, which makes getting in and out a whole lot easier because you don't have the swivel door anymore. Absolutely. Large single basin vanity, brush nickel fixtures there, oversized. Motion Medicine lights are cabinet. something new for this year because we basically wanted to have something that wasn't on all day. Right. You wouldn't have to worry about finding the light switch in the middle of the night. Sure. I can have something that can get me there in the middle of the night, right? I um, love it. What makes the Sweet Series set apart from the original Arctic Wolves is that we're giving you the bedroom, right? Like so many times mom and dad are going, hey, you know, we've given the kids a great room. We've got a great living space, but what about us? Right. What, what about where I want to sleep, right? So we're giving you a full residential king size bed, okay? And it's so big a bedroom up here, you can actually have two foot of space on each side. I see this. So that you don't have to, so many of these, you're climbing out the foot of the bed. Yeah. Right, how am I gonna get in and out? This gives you space on the sides. You're not but, gonna wake up that partner when you're getting up in and out. Love the barn style door on the wardrobe closet that we have here. Now Got that's, the hangers there and washer dryer prep. That's gonna have the washer dryer prep in there. So the majority of our customers haven't optioned in the washer dryer, but for those that do, it can be stackable. Okay. Okay. So that you're not having to do an all in one. Sure. But the beautiful thing is, is when I have shelving over there with outlets, right. and then I'm gonna come behind you here, mm -hmm. ready? I have shelving right here as well. Right. Okay. So that okay. I can have a place. If I've got a CPAP machine, yeah. if I've got an iPad, I've got outlets, I've got USBs for your phone, for your iPad, for your CPAP, for anything that you're gonna to wanna to have so that you have places. Cause a lot of times people put a little shelf here, or a little shelf here. That's just not gonna be functional for the way most right. of our customers are living, right? Yeah. So bigger bed, bigger space, more storage, washer, dryer prep, uh, the second AC up here, um, keeping you nice and cool. Tons of hanging storage. There's a lot of storage in this one. Plus right. I got under storage there too. Right. Kind of like a mud room. So you're going to have shelves, you're going to have hanging space, you're gonna have drawers. Um, even below the drawer set there, you're gonna see that there's a, a shoe storage there as well as by the front door where the stairs are there. But you know, Ben, I, I say this every time we have an RV show, and especially here at the Ultimate RV Show, I was not going to fall in love with a unit. I hear you. Um, but I, I do it every time. I do it every single time. But I told one of your colleagues, I am not falling in love with a Forest River this year. <laughs> but dang it, man, the 3880 Suite, Arctic Wolf by Forest River in Cherokee, you guys did it. Well, I appreciate that. You and know, this we, is, we tried. This is beautiful. And I tell you what, why don't we just cap everything off? We sit down over here on these beautiful couches. Sure. This to me was a thing I wanted to end on because you have couch, recliner, sofa, combo, kickback, whatever you want to call it. Right. Entertainment is what it's for. Right. So our super lounge is an answer to the question of how do you 
how do you have a coach that sleeps this much, that has this much storage? What if I want to entertain? Well, we've got more people in here, right? Right. I, I don't want to cram into a booth. So we, we have a full length set of uh, recliners. So you're going to have four sets of recliners. Right. You're going to have cup holders. You're going to have storage. On the outside, you're it. going to have heat and massage. Okay. Nice. Now, if you do want to eat in here and you don't want to be out on the picnic table, we've got two fold away tables that come in here. That and, you can and set you up. You can have full table service in here if you want. But so many, so many times you're camping, you're using paper plates. You've got yeah. sandwiches. Heck, you might be out by the campfire, right? Let's give you more seating. Let's give you something to start with. If this is what you're looking for, we're gonna let you have it. But if this is the unit that you want, you gotta put in for it right now. Text Easy RV to three two zero nine four. Leave us a comment down below. Easy RV. Or just give us a call, 866-853-3510. If you're looking for this style of floor plan, our specialists are going to be there to walk you through that unit, answer all the questions that Ben and I didn't get a chance to get to. we got finance specialists standing by as well who are going to help you go through all the paperwork. And they're going to mail it to you with the envelopes, postage paid. I'm not going to cheap out on you. All you got to do then is wait for your unit to come to either your home or your campsite. They're going to give you that professional walkthrough that you would get at Camping World then you're going to just enjoy camping. But if this is the specific one you're interested in, do it now. If you yeah, like now. the rear living fifth wheels, we got somebody standing by right now to walk you through. But Ben, hey. as always, my friend. Thank you, Chris. Fantastic Appreciate job. It. Thank you so much for showing us the Arctic Wolf by Forest River in Cherokee, 3880, sweet, sweet. Thanks for having us, man. Because that sweet is sweet. It is sweet. It is super sweet. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go crash on those double blocks right now.